there, you, and welcome to an orc landing party that has found itself upon a chaos planet. Unfortunately for the orcish horde, before they could even get set up, a gigantic horde of zombies and chaos renegade gunners was about to descend upon them. Will the orcs successfully invade the chaos planet, or have the orcs finally met their match? As always, if you do enjoy this content, do leave a like and consider subscribing, as that's the best way to support the channel. Now, Let's get on with the slaughter. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. This should be a very, a very spicy one indeed. Look at these poor orcs. They're barely out of formation here. They're just literally setting up on the battlefield. And the chaos are already charging headlong into them. Zombies at the forefront, ready to bear the front of it. And oh my god, look at that orc dagger just coming out and annihilating already 9,000 of them. My god, we're surpassing 10,000 here. You can see here now the orc melee troops start to make their way through as the chaos horn crashes upon them. The orcs have certainly got their work cut out for them. If they want to secure this bloody did already, the blood is freely flowing. Look at Underfoot here. There is just this gooey good redness flowing down the side of the map. The orcs already, though, are starting to form a defensive line as best as they can and trying to push back this gigantic, gigantic, truly massive horde that is about to descend upon them. And when I say about to descend upon them, of course, I mean they're already trying to chew their way through them. You can see the Renegade Gunners on their side, man, just laying down covering fire as well. They're going to be exchanging a lot of gunfire here with the dagger coming out of the Orc lines. And oh my god, look at them Orc lines charging forward. We've already got these lovely little lakes here. Praise be to Timmy. I think we're going to have some fantastic little blood lakes by the end of this. And hopefully some really nice body piles for Brittany. But at the moment, the Chaos are trying to envelop this Orc horde. But the Orcs are just chewing their way through the zombie masses quite easily. But the zombies are there for that exact reason. They are just a meat shield here. So that the Renegade Gunners can just shoot and lay down covering fire. The Orcs, though, looking like they're having a bit of a battle here for the side. This is actually the uh, map edge. The units are going to struggle to path beyond this point here. That's why it's all suddenly gone flat. Now, it can spill out just a little bit, as you can see here, but it's not really going to do that much. It does look like we've got a lot of Meganoms on this front line. As the zombies are finding out, you can just see the level of Dakar in the background being leveled at that front line. We have got these little gaps starting to appear. As all these Renegade Gunners are actually stemming the flow of the zombies behind them. And that front line is starting to catch up with the chaos bit by bit. Oh man, that is, yeah, the orcs are really pouring forward. Thanks to the support from the Dakar right behind them as well. But it does look like the chaos are also trying to wrap their tendrils around. We almost had a little bit of a break in the line here, but luckily the orcs managed to come in and plug the gap. Choppers to the front. But the Orcs are still taking a beating here. They've almost lost 2,000 units to the 150,000 that the Chaos have lost. However, a good chunk of the Chaos losses are these zombies. So, you know, not a great loss for either side so far. The Orcs are getting a wire that they absolutely love. And the Chaos are getting to convert Orcs into mushrooms. Slowly but surely, that kill counter is starting to rise for the Chaos here. But man, this front line is just brutality. Look at this down here. There's just gore underfoot. And then you got the Meganobs on the front line, crushing and bashing their way through anything. More reinforcements here coming in for the Orcs. Trying to feed that frenzy of a front line. But the Orcs have got to be careful here. The line's starting to look a th little bit thin in places, like right here. There's not that much Dakar on this side either. A lot of the Dakar focused in the center and on the other hill. So this side could be chaos if they actually manage to get through the Mega Knobs on this side. Because that is a lot of heavy, heavy melee combatants for the Orcs. I mean, the Choppers are just having a bit of a field day, let's be fair. Carving their way through these zombie hordes. It doesn't look like the uh, zombies have much chaos support on that side. Mind you, having said that, they're right there. Orcs trying to work their way through them. I'm getting a bit worried about this part of the Orc line, though. We've only got a few Storm Boys actually managing to hold this. I mean, they're still pushing forward, and that Dakar is following them closely behind. 
And that is... Oh, God, look at all that. So many guns here for the Orcs. And they are just purging at the centre line of the chaos. They have pushed so far forward, man. Look at all this blood underneath and all the bodies. But they have paid a heavy price. It's cost them every inch, as. And look at all these reinforcements that just keep pouring into this line. Really interesting to see what happens on this side, though. Because, yeah, look, we've actually started to run out of choppers. The Chaos here actually dealing damage to the Orcs on this side. So now, the Dacker is purely taking on the Zombie Horde. And there's a lot of zombies that are trying to push into this one area. We're getting this lovely, magnificent little uh, po uh, swimming pool that's appeared in the centre. Some fantastic corpse architecture around it. Look at this. We've even got a little waterfall of blood. Excellent. But the Chaos are really pushing this area quite hard. We've got a lot of renegade gunners on this side. And a lot of them have got some pretty decent cover as well from the Orc guns. So they're just able to lay that hurt down right onto them Orc melee combatants. Does kind of look like the Orcs are losing this flank, actually. Look at this. The Chaos are just pouring over the top here. The only real thing holding this line back is we've got this contingent of uh, little troops here. And the Dacker. The sheer firepower now of the Orcs is the only thing keeping the zombies at bay. You can see the Renegade Gunners just using them as meat shields, trying to hide behind them. But yeah, that's dangerous for the Orcs. This flank is looking mighty weak. Again, we've got a lot of gunners on that side. We'll have to keep an eye on that as things progress. Going back to the centre, though. Orcs still pushing forward. More and more zombies are able to trickle through. I wonder if we're going to get a situation here where the Orcs push into the centre. And because they push forward so much that they actually end up getting themselves surrounded. That could be quite dangerous. The Orcs, though, now at 400,000 kills. Quickly approaching half a million. How are we doing on this flank? We've got this lovely little uh, bubble starting to appear. The Orcs doing a real good job of keeping this area nice and secure. The problem, yeah, look, we did end up breaking at this line here. I did say earlier, it was looking a little bit thin and a bit weak. And it's certainly looking it now. This is going to be real bad for the Orcs over there because the DAC is going to be focused on the guys trying to push into them. And look at how many are pouring into this breach now. That is a lot. The Orcs are trying to deal with it, man. But they're taking a lot of losses trying to deal with this. Because while they're trying to kill all their melee combatants, the Chaos Gunners are just railing on them. A bit like what's happening in the centre lines here. It is a true battle of attrition in the centre. The Orcs are slightly stronger, topper, can take a few more hits here, but they don't have as many forces. How are we doing on this flank over here? Let's go have a look. The Orcs, man, they've pushed up to the body hill that they made. Look at this. So our little swimming pool was down here before, and the Orcs now pushed right up on top of it. Someone call Brittany, tell her come and collect her body piles, because that is magnificent. The Chaos still pushing in quite heavy. We've got a lot of Renegade Gunners here using the bodies as cover. The Orcs are doing exactly the same. We've got corpse fortifications. The Chaos are taking a lot of losses trying to push this area. The Orcs have backed up. They just keep backing up. And the Nomers just keep blowing into this flank. Can see though that the Renegade Gunner presence is slowly building on this side. But so are the Orc melee troops. They are surging forward. They are starting to catch up with them. Chaos have still got a lot of troops there that they can just fling round into this flank, should it be required. We are starting to get this weird little bubble happening here. So this is where the Chaos uh, have managed to finally break through the Orc lines. I don't think there's actually any more Orc melee along this entire portion of the line here until we get to this little gaggle over here. That's kind of worrying for the Orcs, because now they're under direct assault from the Zombies. They're also taking a beating from all them Renegade Gunners just railing on them also. Yeah, look at the piles of corpses here, starting to amass. 
as the renegade gunners just level into the orcs. The orcs too busy having to deal with all the melee being flung at them at the moment. 25,000 orcs remaining. This flank is starting to falter. The orcs just keep pushing and pushing on this side and it's not helping them. Though it kind of looks like they broke the back of chaos on this side. And now all these gunners are going to start surging up the side. And they're going to hit the flank of these Chaos. Oh no, we're getting the yin and yang battlefield going on here. The Chaos winning that flank, but losing this one down here. So then, that means that it's all going to be down to the center. Who's going to win in the center? Are the Orcs going to have enough forces? Because we already know the fates of the two lines either side. But what is going down in the center? The Orc Gunners have been thinned out a lot, actually. Look at there. So many of them. Look at all the blood on the battlefield. That's insane. Not an inch of it in this area is, like, uncovered. We've got these little tufts of grass. That's about it. But, my God, what absolute devastation has been wrought on this battlefield. And the Orcs, man, they're still pushing forward. They're still trying to go for it. The bloodlust has taken over them. But I'm really interested to see what happens now as Chaos pours down from the mountains, having completely converted this flank into a complete win for them. I mean, the Orcs were holding it really nicely to start with, but no. This is just a deluge of Chaos now, pouring down the mountains, right into the fleshy gunners here for the Orcs. But again, the other opposite is happening on this side. We've got a Dakar Brigade making their way right into that flank of chaos supporting it oh my god look at them renegade gunners they're getting opened up the chaos here like a tin can just being completely opened up the brine has been drained from the outside inside of them i don't know how you drain the brine from it the outside if i can but you know look at these forces though there's so many of them still trying to push forward and I am really worried about this center line. The Chaos are getting closer and closer to these gunners. Like I said, it's not like the Chaos have to keep chasing them. With all of their... Uh, all of the zombies. They have actually got gunners on this time. They can just shoot down the orcs themselves. Which is slowly but surely is what is happening. Look at all these zombies now pouring down. Again, the orcs too distracted, having to kill all the zombies. So they can't really keep shooting at all the uh, gunners. Because otherwise they're just going to get toasted in melee combat. <laughs> Look at all the blood. Oh my god, is that deep enough? No. Unfortunately, I don't think we've actually had a deep enough blood lake. But it's just sort of been scattered all over the battlefield. I really don't know who's going to win this though. The orcs here. Definitely don't have numbers on their side. But they've got the Dakar still. And the Chaos are going to have to push into this Dakar if they want to kill him. I mean, look at that. The amount of smoke and bullets flying through the air. Just unfortunate that the Orcs aren't that accurate. But when they've got this many guns, accuracy doesn't matter. As the Chaos are quickly finding out here. There's only 100,000 Chaos remaining. 13,000 Orcs. So it depends what happens. Actually, I wonder if they can herd them a bit like sheep. If some of these Chaos guys start swinging it around the back of the Orcs, that might be quite good for the Chaos. Does look like, though, that this line is directly under assault by the zombies. Man, I couldn't call this. The Orc kill rate is pretty high, but they just don't have numbers on their side. But this flank has been devastating that the Orcs have pulled out. This front line of Chaos melting under the sheer weight of firepower. Look at them go! Oh my god, they really are just melting, aren't they? Again, look, the Chaos not able to push out the flank either. I don't know, man. I think this might go to the Orcs at this rate. If the Orcs keep up this kill ratio on this center group... That is going to be way too much for the Chaos to deal with. We have got a lot of Renegade Gunners on this flank. But they're currently dealing with these Gunners. 
uh, what was the forces over here? What chaos? We don't have many over there. They're all chasing down little groups. But they are starting to come back around. See, what we need to do is we need to split the firepower from this group if we want to be able to kill it. So, the Chaos really need to kill these guys over here like yesterday and start pushing around to the side of these gunners. Divide the firepower. That'll help out immensely. We've only got 26,000 remaining. Oh my god. This is coming down to the wire for Chaos now. They are pushing these troops around. But will it be enough? We are getting a bit of a gun, gun battle going on. We've got lots of renegade gunners now pushing into the area. Trying to shoot them down, but the last of them are here. And they're getting mopped up by the orcs. I don't think that the Chaos have put, managed to push around and down the hill in enough time. And the Chaos firepower has been diminished considerably there. We have still got these troops up here. They do still outnumber the enemy. But they've got to bring that firepower to bear. And the Orc Dakar is just having its way with them. The Orcs did lose quite a lot of units there. Look at all this. That, that has been thinned out significantly here. However, the Orcs now do outnumber the Chaos. Oh my god, look at that. Let's go quickly scoot around our battlefield here. Well, the remainders of them are cleaned up by the Orcs. Because, yeah, this is going to be an Orc victory now. But look at that battlefield. Just absolutely covered in gore. So despite the Chaos ambushing them with an insane amount of troops, the Orcs can go on to keep landing forces on the planet now that they've gained a foothold. My god. <laughs> I'm sorry, little Timmy. We didn't get... A, we, it's been a bit sad. We didn't get any crazy blood lakes. But my god, we made a really nice pattern across the battlefield here. But ladies and gentlemen, I do think we can end this one here. And as always, I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all our channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not click the join button below. But while you're at it, go ahead and check out the Chaotic Pinky Store. We've got some amazingly cool merch over there. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.